Brabim and the God. Once in a village, there lived a Brahmin. He ran the nearby village and did odd jobs to help the villagers. He also helped around with rituals and celebration. One day, the Brahmin was in another village to attend a function. There he was gift with a god. The Brahmin was happy to take it home to his family with the god thrown over his shoulder. The Brahmin leisurely walked home. On the way there was a forest. In the forest there were two thieves. The two thieves worked together and found way to cheat the travelers. When they saw the Brahmin with the god on his shoulder, they were very happy. Such a healthy plum god. Let's trick this Brahmin and get this god for our dinner. They told each other. The Brahmin had to walk a long way to reach home. The forest on lo was lonely and desert. There was nobody else on the path. The thieves thought that the forest would be a good place for them to cheat the Brahmin. After walking for so long, the Brahmin was tired so decided to rest for a while. On the way, there was a tree which gave Good set. Nearby flow a stream with cool water. The Brahmin flashed his face with cool water and drank some too. Under he, this tree, the Brahmin put down his god and stretched himself, rested, and relaxed. The Brahmin picked up his god and was on his way. Just around the corner, the first thief was waiting for him. The thief offered his greeting and asked the Brahmin, Sir, how come you are carrying this dirty dog? The Brahmin was shocked. What is wrong with you? Where is the dirty dog? Can you see I'm carrying a god? No, sir. That is not a god. I can see a dirty dog on your shoulder. Puzzle. The Brahmin took a closer look at his god. He ran his finger over its horn neck and the tail and replied, Are you blind? Sir, why are you shouting? You are carrying a dirty dog, not a god. Instead, the thief see it has darted your cloth too. The Brahmin continued to work with his god on his shoulder, wondering why the stranger called it a dog not far away with the second thief. He too offered his greetings to the Brahmin and asked, 
Sir, how come you are carrying this dead pal? The Brahmin was shocked. What is wrong with you? Where is the dead calf? Can you see I am carrying a god? No, sir. That is not a god. I can see a dead calf on your shoulder. Puzzle. The Brahmin took a closer look at his god. He ran his finger over its head, neck, and tail, and replied, Are you blind? Haven't you seen a god before? Sir, why are you shouting? You are carrying a dead cult, not a god, said the thief see its large eyes and long ears. The Brahmin continued to work his mind truly confused. He was give, gifted a god which he was carrying home. Every now and then he looked at his god. Why did other think it was a dirty dog or a dead calf? What was wrong? Again he ran his fingers over the god's horn, horn, horn and tail. Then the then the thought struck him. Could he be carrying a demon? A demon who could change from a demon who could change into a dog and dirty calf and calf could also turn into a tiger or a lion. What if the demon Change into a lion and eat up my fa- and eat up his family. At that instant, the Brahmin threw away the god and rushed home. The two chiefs who were following him picked up the god and went home happily. Moral: Ignore foolish suggestion. Suggestion and trust your own thinking in all situations.